fuel, Antron Brown. Antron has won the number one qualifying position this season. You guys come out here, you tested a lot, you were the top of the pack and you tested. Did that help out with uh, tonight's session and just uh, getting that number one position? For sure. I mean, uh, <clears throat> excuse my voice, but it sounded like John Ford's in there. But uh, the thing about it is, we came out here testing, and uh, we test a whole variety of things that we've been wanting to test, and uh, from clutch stuff to all kinds of stuff. And uh, we came up with some stuff, and we're just running what we've been running at all the last races here. We're back to our normal package that we can finish the rest of the year out on. And Brian and Mark and the boys, it's been refining it, just making it better and better. So uh, coming out here, I looked at them, they saw some cars not making out on track, but the track to us was the same as testing. Actually, it was a little bit better. So they went up there, they put our car right on the numbers of what we did when we tested, but then they backed a couple of things off just to be on the safe side. And, uh, and Brian and Mark and uh, Brad, our assistant crew chief, they've been playing with stuff on the start line, moving us way out, way in. Going, they're going to where they feel the start line's the best, so our car gets off to a good start. So they move us over there, car went out, and it moved right back into the groove, and it was just like on easy street. The car just did exactly what they wanted to do. It was a dream to drive, and uh, the ET show for it. We just went a little bit slower than the 81 that we went in testing. We went 81 flat, and we went at 81A, but <clears throat> we're in some more mile an hour, so it was happening at the big end. So that's that DSR power, so we're just stoked to be number one right now. But uh, tomorrow's going to be better, so we'll see if it holds up, or we'll go out there and just keep on digging it and throwing at the coals. Well, the weather's been so hot and then it cooled off. Did you think that number was capable that you guys were going to be able to do so, or did you think Tony or any of your teammates were going to knock it off? I mean, you obviously, obviously see these guys every week that are testing on the Well, we, we saw them. The thing about it is, we, we were the last ones on the line. So when we saw Tony go to 85 in that big mile an hour, he gave us the confidence to step our car up even more. Right. You know, we were already going out there, we weren't going to go out there and try to run another 89 or 88 like we did the first round of uh, you know, Friday night session. We're going out there to run. We're going to try to run a mid to low 80 anyway. We're going to try to run an 85. But we saw the other cars going and our car's been safe to be in the racetrack every race. We've always been safe. We haven't been smoking tires off the hit. So we felt confident enough to go out there and turn it up. So we went out there and riding them, sit back, they're seeing the track temperature come down. The track was still really tacky. It was really good. So uh, they feel good. Where they say, you know what? We're already in the show at six. What we got to lose? You go out there and go for it. And sometimes it bites you, and sometimes you can be a hero. So tonight we're the heroes, and we're just sucking it up and just taking the way we got it. Does this give you the <clears throat> room to maybe fine tune for the setup for Monday, or do you go out there and swing for the fences tomorrow? Well, the well, the thing about it is for Monday, I didn't mean to cut you off, but on Monday, the conditions are going to even be better. They're going to be low 70s, so we're already where we want to be at. So we can even just keep on stepping up a little bit more. Maybe tomorrow's on the high 76, and we get a break in the weather to go out, the rain comes, it's going to make the track even tighter. We're already 181, all it takes is a couple more twists on knob to go at 70. Like you're right there already. So it's just getting early a little bit more, so we'll see what we can do. And we're, just, we're not going to go slower. We're going to try to go faster. So throughout the rest of the weekend, so that's what we're that's what we're working on right now. Anything else? Done, Nina. Man, you sound like Peter Brady.